Pigeon Forge is a city that is nestled in the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. And every year, my wife and I bring our kids multiple times to enjoy Dollywood and the area. Whether you are visiting the Pigeon Forge area to visit Dollywood or not, you are going to learn everything that you need to know about this wonderful area. Things like the top recommended places to stay, the best restaurants, the top recommended attractions, as well as a ton of helpful tips throughout the video. I promise you that you're going to have a wonderful time visiting Pigeon Forge. One of the most common questions that people ask about the Pigeon Forge area is, when is the best time to visit? Any month that you decide to visit the Pigeon Forge area has its benefits, but I recommend visiting in late spring and early fall. If you visit around these times, you will save money because the hotel and cabin rates will not be nearly as expensive as they would be during the busy summer months or near Christmas. If you do not plan on visiting Dollywood and you do not like the crowds and also do not mind cold weather, then visiting in January and February is highly recommended. Now it's time for the first of many TPR tips throughout this video. If you're looking to save some money on your trip to Pigeon Forest, then I highly recommend visiting during the week. The nightly rates for hotels during the week are always cheaper than on Friday and Saturday and sometimes even Sunday nights. There really is so much to see and do in the area, you're probably wondering how many days do you really need? One of the best things about visiting this area of Tennessee is how close Gatlinburg is. This must-see mountain town is located just a few minutes away from the Pigeon Forge Strip, and it also offers so much to see and do. If you plan on visiting Dollywood, then I recommend allowing yourself to have five full days of fun in the area. If you do not plan on visiting Dollywood, then four full days will give you enough time to explore the area. And to give you an idea, as to why I recommend you stay this long is because you need the right amount of time to experience some of these great top recommended Pigeon Forge attractions. Starting off with the Great Smoky Mountain National Park because did you know that it's located just minutes away from Pigeon Forge and I highly recommend you visit and soak in the beautiful views of this place. TPR tip. On your way to the closest entrance to the park, I cannot recommend enough taking the Gatlinburg Bypass. This way, you'll not get stuck in all the slow moving traffic in downtown Gatlinburg. I also recommend taking the Bypass if you're trying to get back to Pigeon Forge from the Smoky Mountain National Park. Skyland Ranch, which happens to be one of the newer attractions in the area and offers the only chairlift in Pigeon Forge. You will find daily live entertainment, shops, one of the newer mountain coasters, delicious food, and plenty of beautiful views from atop. TPR tip, you can come to just experience the Wild Stallion mountain coaster and not the rest of the Skyland Ranch. Legacy Mountain Zip Lines. If you're not scared of heights, then you should definitely check out this attraction is you're going to experience seven thrilling zip lines at speeds of 50 miles an hour and a max height of 500 feet above ground. Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. I have been on every mountain coaster in the Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg area, and Rocky Top really is, in my opinion, the best one in the area. TPR tip. I recommend riding during the day so the line will not be as long as it will be at night. The island in Pigeon Forge. You cannot visit Pigeon Forge and not experience the island, where you will find shops, attractions, great restaurants, and amusement rides. But the best attraction that the island offers has to be the Great Smoky Mountain Wheel. TPR tip. For the best views, I recommend riding the 200 foot tall observation wheel during the day. The track. This attraction has been around for decades and still provides a great time. From the go-karts to the mini golf, there is something for everyone at the track. Pigeon Forge Snow You are looking at America's first ever indoor snow park. So, if you ever want to go snow tubing without the freezing cold temperatures, then this is your place. But the best thing about Pigeon Forge Snow is the fact that it stays open year-round. The Titanic Museum Attraction 
If you love history, then you're going to want to check out this Titanic Museum. However, keep in mind, due to the popularity of this attraction, and according to their website, reservations are required as many days are already sold out, so I recommend booking early. Hatfield and McCoy Dinner Feud Great food, great entertainment, and great people. This dinner show is one of the best you're ever going to see and one of the funniest as well. TPR tip. While dinner shows do cost a decent amount of money, keep in mind that the price also includes your dinner so that really does help. Dolly Parton Stampede. There are so many reasons to love this dinner show experience. The food is delicious, the show is great, and people of all ages will really enjoy it. TPR tip. I recommend arriving about an hour early so you can experience the horse walk where you get to meet the stars of the show. Diggin' Zone Theme Park This is the newest attraction in the Pigeon Forge area and it's going to be extremely popular with the kids. That's because you'll get the opportunity to operate real construction equipment and so much more at this very unique attraction. Pirates Voyage Dinner and Show this is personally my favorite dinner show in the area and that is simply because it's pirate themed and I really do love the 15 foot deep lagoon in the center of the theater. This experience is just all around a good time for everyone in your party. TPR tip. For any dinner show, I always recommend to check out their show schedule because sometimes the price fluctuates based on the day and the time of the show. This is usually the case and a great way to save some money. Now if you're finding this video to be helpful in any way, then I need a favor. This video took over 30 hours to create and it takes you less than a second to give this video a like. And each like really does help the performance of the video and I really do appreciate each one. Now it's time to go over the top recommended places to stay in the Pigeon Forge area. Starting off with Camp Margaritaville. This place is so much fun, but the best part is, is it's very kid and pet friendly. From the amenities to the peaceful location, this is by far the best of the three Margaritaville resorts in the Pigeon Forge area. Dollywood's Dreammore Resort and Spa and Heart Song Lodge and Resort. Both of Dollywood's resorts are really great, and you're gonna find very clean rooms, amazing pools, exceptional service, comfortable beds, great restaurants on site, and so much more. TPR tip, I highly recommend staying at one of these resorts if you are planning a trip to Dollywood. This way, you get to experience Dollywood with a complimentary time saver skip the line pass for everyone in your room. Home to Suites by Hilton Pigeon Forge. We have stayed here a few times now with our kids and our dog and have enjoyed every visit. You really cannot beat the location and the free breakfast and parking is always a plus. Fairfield Inn and Suites by Marriott. You are looking at a great property that is located right in the center of all the action. Plus, you're going to find very clean rooms and a great staff at this hotel. Music Road Resort Hotel. This is a great family friendly hotel that offers a lazy river, a water slide, very nice rooms, and is located right off the strip. Wilderness at the Smokies. This is by far the best place to stay in the area if you have young kids. The rooms are really spacious, but it's all about the indoor and outdoor water park that is included with your stay. TPR tip, depending on your budget and how many people you have traveling with you, for your Pigeon Forge vacation, I recommend looking into renting a cabin. This really is the best way to experience a true Tennessee vacation. We recently rented from Colonial Properties and really did love the cabin and the whole renting process through them. If you're planning on visiting Dollywood, then you're not going to want to miss my Dollywood Must Know Tips Guide, where you will learn everything that you need to know about visiting this must-visit theme park. And for your convenience, you can find a link for that guide in the description of this video. During the summertime, it gets extremely hot in Pigeon Forge. So here are the top recommended ways to cool off during the summer. Dollywood Splash Country. This is a beautiful 35 acre water park that is filled with slides, pools, and a lazy river that is surrounded by the woods and the hills. There is a reason why this water park is constantly ranked as one of the best ones in the entire country. 
heading back over to Wilderness at the Smokies, where you will get to experience two water parks, an indoor and outdoor one. And when you experience both, you're gonna love all the different water slides, lazy rivers, and other attractions and wave pools that you're gonna find here. TPR tip, if you are interested in just experiencing the resort's water parks, then you can purchase a day pass on their website, which is a great benefit for those of you who are not staying at the resort itself. And finally, Soaky Mountain Water Park. In my opinion, this is the best overall water park in Tennessee regarding the slides and the attractions. You are going to find multiple water coasters, other great slides, tons of stuff for the kids, and so many different multi-passenger attractions that really do make Soaky Mountain Water Park a must visit. As you're driving up and down the strip, you quickly realize there's so many different mini golf courses. So how do you know which one's the best? Well, good news for you because here are my top three recommended mini golf courses. Professor Hacker's Lost Treasure Golf. While this is not the newest course in the area, the full experience is just plain fun. And you're gonna find two great courses here and I recommend playing them both. Toy Box Mini Golf. This is one of the newer courses in the area and really it's so much fun. Our kids absolutely loved it. And while it's not the most scenic, the holes are great. And again, the kids are gonna love this place, especially at night. Ripley's Old McDonald's Farm Mini Golf. It's really hard to go wrong with this mini golf attraction that offers three different courses. The greens are well kept and you're gonna love the animal theme that this attraction offers. With all of this fun that you're gonna be having in Pigeon Forge, you are going to get hungry, so here are the top recommended restaurants to check out. The Local Goat. Get ready to enjoy some amazing cheeseburgers. Simply put, we really did love ours and visit this restaurant every time we're in the Pigeon Forge area. Holston's Kitchen. In my opinion, this restaurant right here is the best kept secret in the Pigeon Forge area. The food and the ambiance is second to none. I highly recommend it. Five Oaks Farm Kitchen. This restaurant is great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Seriously, there is no bad time to visit this restaurant. TPR Tip. I highly recommend not skipping this restaurant when you're in the area because it's that good. However, it will get busy, so be sure to allow yourself a little bit of time because I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of a wait. Blue Moose Burgers and Wings Just like the name, this fun restaurant offers great tasty food, quick service, great burgers, and some of the best wings around. Applewood Farmhouse Grill If you are like me and you enjoy some good country cooking, then this is your new favorite place to eat in the Pigeon Forge area. Trust me, it's that good. Mel's Classic Diner. You're gonna find great burgers, shakes, and amazing french fries. What more could you possibly want? Seriously, this is such a fun experience that I highly recommend. Now, if you're visiting Pigeon Forge on a budget, then here's some other recommendations for you. Definitely go experience the Smoky Mountain National Park, which also happens to be the most visited national park in America, and the views are breathtaking. But the best part about it is, it's free. The Island in Pigeon Forge. While most of the attractions here do cost money, of course, you can walk around and sightsee for free. And I highly recommend taking some time and enjoy the awesome water show that happens a few times each hour. TPR tip. Do not stress out about paying for parking here because one of the best benefits of the island is parking is free. If you love nature, then I highly recommend going for a hike. Because the truth is, everyone could use a little bit more nature in their life. And you're going to find plenty of trails within a 30 minute drive of the area. I also recommend driving down to Gatlinburg and walking the streets of this wonderful mountain town. While it's going to be very hard to find free parking, this town really is worth it. And I highly recommend just walking up and down the strip and taking it all in. And if you are wanting to know about the best attractions in the Gatlinburg area, then you are going to want to check out my Gatlinburg attraction guide video as you see right here. So now I want to know, when is your Pigeon Forge vacation and what are you looking forward to the most? Be sure to let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to smile today, think positive, and keep riding coasters.